Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with TZ Master Takagi-san season 3 episode number 6. Alright, uh, the previous episode, it was a really great episode. The beginning of the episode kind of showed us, um, uh, more, that's definitely um, Takagi's uh, kid, Takagi and Nishikata's kid. And we see her like you know, a little bit of uh, her school life, how like, you know, she's like, uh just just like you know she, like in her mother's position she is like kind of eating and there's like there's one guy there who tries to hint that he likes him but unfortunately he, she doesn't realize that so this kind of shows us she got her <laughs> dad's personality i guess and her mom's appearance and you know the denseness that nishikata has she kind of got that <laughs> So yeah, and then we kind you know kind of get like a back shot of Takagi like you know grown up adult, and that was a really like you know <laughs> interesting way like they showed it, and uh, yeah that was fantastic that was like a huge surprise I got in the beginning of the episode, and then uh, as always like the normal episode starts uh like we get another like you know three like, you know three part episode the first part was like the whole thing with um bell peppers like you know like the nishikata doesn't like to eat bell peppers and they like made a contest of guessing what the other person does not like uh, unfortunately takagi <laughs> won again unfortunate for nishikata and um i feel like you know, you know takagi kind of did a little bit of uh like you know uh what can i say like she she said like energy drink like i don't think that that counts as like an answer like what 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 is that answer like energy drink or what <laughs> something like that she said like you know so yeah anyways that was that that was the first part and uh, the next part we get to see um them kind of like you know discussing uh about uh the school play and there was this whole thing with the, the guy group the group uh the guy group one of those guys uh, i don't remember his name um he says something about fried chicken cafe and uh like you know like obviously it gets like you know shut down that won't happen the voting happens and the uh, thing that wins is the class play um so obviously uh, takagi gets selected as a heroine um then the audition happens for, for the guys um nishikata does an amazing job with the auditions but unfortunately that guy with the fried chicken her his emotions <clears throat> for the fried chickens is so much that you know like he impressed that was that was weird <laughs> Like, you know, he impressed the, the, the girls and they're like yeah he'll become the you know the main character the prince or whatever and i'm like what the hell like didn't you see nishikata's like you know like uh audition like and still you can say that but uh, who knows like you know what i think i think by the end of it nishikata is probably is going to play the main character role i don't know i feel like that's what's going to happen let's wait for it and the final part where uh like you know, nishikata and takagi goes fishing and uh, as always, uh, Takagi is winning, but then like a big fish comes or <laughs> Takagi tries, uh, Nishikata tries to get it. Unfortunately, she he's unable to do it. Takagi grabs him, and yeah, like that was basically it. And then by the end of it, Takagi says that you will like you know help me, uh, you know practice the lines of the play, and uh, you're going to help me do that. So. Yeah, that's, I'm guessing that's what we're going to see in this episode. So, yeah, this is episode number six of uh, Teasing Master, Tai san season three. So, yeah, let's get started without further ado. Um, I'll be putting the subtitles on the timer here. Sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started. <clears throat> okay, here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. Students are independent and strive for wisdom, virtue, and health. Culture Fest. What Amen so man? I have to say he's doing pretty well you know <laughs> what 
What? Excal- <laughs> Improv. He's too much into it. They both die in the name of love. <laughs> oh my god, this girl. She's like, yeah, everything's fine. <laughs> oh my god. What? What is this, Momotaro? They're mixing everything up, aren't they? Like Romeo, Juliet, Momotaro. Like Momotaro has the dog pheasant, I think so, as far as I can remember. <laughs> wow, this is like, um, like, did they buy the real dress or it's like uh, the sewing club did it or something? Wait, what? Well, her speech pattern also. Oh. Okay. That's that's a lot of lines. Uh. <laughs> dumpling. <laughs> it's like a dumpling. Uh. Okay. <laughs> wow. Wait, tomorrow? Wow. Oh no. Again, she's like eating other stuff. She's like, wait, what's happening? <laughs> like he never takes the uh, lead, so. Help me to, oh, okay. All right. Good witch. Oniga what Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, cafe. I remember these two characters. I think in like second season or the first season. That was awkward. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he was. He's probably a little bit embarrassed. It's a culture festival. I don't. I don't think so. I think it's like there'll be people and everything. Okay. Random conversation. Well, I'm pretty sure she gets that. Oh no! Oh my God! This guy. <laughs> oh my God! Chapter seven. What the? Um <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> okay. Yeah, obviously, just like that, you know? Hmm. I don't think that'll work for him. Because... He, oh no, he just dropped it. Great. Oh no. Uh, well. <laughs> He'll try to find the booklet, but he won't find it. Obviously, he dropped it. Oh! <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> okay. Yeah, about the play, you know? Uh. And that's what he, you know? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah, weren't you thinking about this? Oh boy. Yep. Come on. He, he Okay, he remembers it. <laughs> it dries up all your tears. Ah. Some difficult lines you need to remember. <laughs> At their age, you know, like, they're like children. <laughs> <coughs> wow. <laughs> Which of me is going to... Wow. Oh wait, what? The the haunted house or something? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Sound effect. Wait, that defeats the purpose of it. It can need to stay there the longest. Wait, what? Wow. But what if Tari comes, pops up now? <laughs> um. There you go. I, just, I was just going to say this. <laughs> That's cheating, you know. <laughs> I don't think that that's like that that defeats the purpose of it. Oh, 
Ok. Hmm. It just starts running. Man eating diner. <laughs> that... What? That was fast. <laughs> Forty seconds. Forty-three. Average. Blur. <laughs> okay. Hmm. <laughs> oh no. Oh. <laughs> Tap your foot, okay. Hmm. <laughs> oh, <laughs> she didn't even start, okay. Oh, oh my God. Oh. Oh my god, so basically Takagi knew this was going to happen because Wait, no <laughs> Like she already came here So, oh, okay, never mind It was her <laughs> Oh my god <laughs> um Damn this guy is pretty um what can I say diligent at his work just keeping that face Wow. Eating contest? Oh. Super. Wait, what? Didn't. <laughs> oh my god. I think his name is Kimura. <laughs> He's here. <laughs> Wait, who's the person feeding him? Has great teamwork. Oh no. <laughs> oh, that's why he said don't come. That's why. Oh my god. I I thought he was just okay, he is embarrassed, but still. Kimura <laughs> won't stop. How much can this boy eat? Okay. Alright, here we go. Okay, I thought like maybe by the end of it uh Nishikata's going to play the main role, but ah, uh, that won't happen. Bigly appearance. <coughs> oh. Oh, to to Julia to. The. Ah.
the white weight. Hmm. <laughs> okay, there they are. Okay, there you go. Okay. <coughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy. Oh. <coughs> That's that big. <laughs> oh my god. The enemy wizard is here. Become a hat. Um, what the? Wait. Um. <laughs> okay. The way she said that. <coughs> I will. Okay. Turns out. Okay. It turns out my. Turn it to <laughs> Okay, Nishkat is going to take his place. Just like I said, okay, there you go. Oh, is he going to change the outcome? I think so. Oh! Oh no! <laughs> okay, oh my god, this is... Okay, this is perfect. <laughs> well... <clears throat> Oopsie! <laughs> oh boy, look at that smile. Um, ad lib, you know. <laughs> There's only one way to say. <laughs> wow. Uh. <laughs> Spring day. <laughs> okay, wow. Okay, that was a really satisfying end to this whole thing. <laughs> He's in the toilet or something. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, wow. That was perfect. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. 
Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Question about your lines. Oh, the spring day, yeah. Fall. Wait, so. What? Wait, 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 I don't understand this part. Two of... <laughs> okay. <laughs> this this guy <laughs> Wait, what? What was that? Oh, the <laughs> Okay, that's the end. Wait, I I don't understand one part here. What what was that scene where she says that we men okay. Just a sec. Okay, um... I have a question. You said spring day, but I thought... Oh! Okay, I, 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 okay, I misunderstood this part. Now that I'm reading it... <laughs> while reacting to it, I, I, I mis misread this part. He says that you said spring day, but I thought they me, met each other during the fall. They means um Romeo and Ju Ju Juliet or something, yeah. Romeo and Juliet, like those two, talking about he's talking about the play, and I I completely missed this day part. I thought this was we, so that's why I was confused. I was like, wait a minute, he's saying that we met during the spring day, and then he's saying like, but we met during the fall. Like, what does that even mean? But now that I'm looking at it properly, I understood. Like, I misread that part. <clears throat> that's not we, but that's they. So, <clears throat> they met during the fall. That is those two. In the fall, uh, in, the, in the play, met during the fall. And that's why Taka, uh, Nishikata is confused. He's like, why did you say they met during the spring? And Takagi is like, no. We. We met during the spring. That's what I was telling Okay, now I understand. I I misread that part. That's why I was having <coughs> difficulty in understanding what was going on. Now, <coughs> in the beginning of this episode, I kind of said that uh, maybe uh, something will happen and Kimura will not do the play and Nishikata is going to do the play in his stead. Um, I thought like, yeah, that was how it was going to go. It did not go like that, but it's still by the end of it, it went like that. Like he, he went away from, from the mid part. So it was not that the whole play was done by uh, Nishikata, but a part of it was done by Nishikata almost at the end. So that's, that was where, where I was like, you know, like correct. Like he did do the play by the end of it. But I thought like he was going to do the whole play, you know, I thought like maybe something 
like he was going to happen like he was going to get sick or something or maybe you know like as as we see like you know he got like his stomach egg and uh, i thought like okay maybe something like that was going to happen before the play started so nishikata will have to do the full part of it you know like his like from the beginning to the end i thought that was how it was going to go Did not go that way but still by the end of it nishikata did do it so yeah <clears throat> okay so here in this episode uh it was it was a school play you know from the beginning to the end uh we see <clears throat> like you know the kimura uh putting on like the costumes and like you know practicing with his friend uh who is like the evil witch uh no evil wizard or something um <laughs> and <clears throat> He was ad like you know ad libbing or improving like like you know, saying some stuff like oh my Excalibur this and that like you know, seeing random saying random stuff. And I have to say like that that kind of made the thing more entertaining. <laughs> like you know like if if you are if you know what you're doing ad libbing if you're properly able to ad lib, you know then that's really great. You know like just like, like go for it. But sometimes you know while ad libbing people do mess up a little bit. Like ad libbing, people do it when basically they forget the lines or something, you know. Like there's no prompter or stuff like that, I guess. Like you know, so <laughs> doing this was a little bit risky, but this is just a, like you know, a, 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 like a, a school play, a school uh, festival play. So yeah, it, it was it was fine, you know. Like and I I feel like this kind of made this thing a little bit more entertaining. This whole thing. Like the <laughs> the story in itse itself was so ridiculous. Like you know, it had like Romeo Ju <laughs> Juliet <laughs> as well as Momotaro. Like you know, the whole thing with um uh you know, like the pheasant, the dog, and the what was the other one? Forgot. Um, and then also like the on Onigashima, all that stuff. And I'm like, yeah, this is this 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 play is completely like a mishmash of. A lot of things. So, <laughs> added to that, the ad libbed lines, it was perfect. So, <clears throat> okay, so in the beginning, we see, like, you know, them practicing a little bit, and uh, Takagi comes in with the dress, and Nishikata does his, like, you know, his thing, like the whole thing with the dumpling, and <laughs> He kind of messes up, and obviously, like you know, these are these are pretty difficult lines for children their age, I guess. Um, nah, you know what? It, it was fine, probably. You know, I, I I doubt that that like you know young. I'm 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 guessing they're probably like twelve or thirteen years old, something like that. Yeah, I do remember during uh, my time as well when we were twelve or thirteen. We also had plays like this. We had to do school plays. And yeah, we also had to like you know remember lines. I never did like I was never the main character, so I guess that's like <laughs> that's something like you know I never had to like you know deal with like you know remembering lines. So all the other people had to do it, and uh, yeah. So <laughs> okay, all right. So here <clears throat> you know he kind of messes up in the beginning and. Obviously, like, Takagi was like, I saw that, and Takagi was like, all right, I should probably ask him for, like, you know, practicing with me. But the thing that happens here, actually, is before Takagi, like, you know, approached him, uh, Nishikata came, and Nishikata was like, oh, I need a little bit of help. Like, you know, oh, no, he did not say, I need a little bit of help. He said that, meet me in the roof, on the roof. We need to talk. And that was it. And obviously, he was going to ask for help. And... Uh, <laughs> Tavi was pretty surprised. She was like, "Wow, she like he's he's approaching me. This is like a new thing. <laughs> this never happens." But yeah, and there's this also this other section where that that girl and the the guy. I I I don't remember what the, like you know their their story was. I completely forgot their story, but I do remember them. You know, like they were. I think they were in the second season or were they in the first season? Something like that. But. <clears throat> Yeah, like we, we see their portion as well. Like here, the girl says, like, I'm going to go to your class. And he's like, oh, you no need to come. I'll be busy. Now, I thought like he was like embarrassed about something, you know, like, you know, and it does turn out he was embarrassed, but for a completely different reason. I thought he was just shy about that whole thing. But no, 
he was embarrassed about the fact that he has to like, you know, wear a maid like you know costume and <laughs> like you know do the whole like you know as a waiter in the cafe that was what he was embarrassed about and yeah like i don't blame him like <laughs> who wouldn't be embarrassed like in that situation but yeah okay and then like we shift to the scene when uh, takagi uh, is on the roof nishikata goes up and nishikata starts thinking stuff you know he starts thinking like oh wait is mm, Ta takagi misunderstanding me does he think like she think like i'm going to confess or something and <laughs> He's like, all right, I'm going to go in there, just straight up say that I need help with my play. And he drops the script. <laughs> he goes up and he's like, all right, I'm going to tell I need, I need to, like, you know, do the play, help with the play. Takagi is like, okay, let me guess. I'm going to guess what you are thinking. I'm pretty sure we have the same idea. <laughs> and then Nishikata thinks like, oh, wait, is she really going to confess or something? And... And then obviously, like, you know, like, like, as always, like, uh, Takagi teases, she's like, we're going to do the play. That's what you wanted to tell me, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. Okay, and yeah, then, like, you know, then, um, <clears throat> they start, like, you know, practicing and stuff with the whole dumpling and, you know, like, Romeo and Juliet. Okay, that was that. Okay, and then is like I'm guessing then the next part of the whole thing with the haunted house was during a time when they were probably in break, you know, both Takagi and Nishikata. Probably they were like in, in a little break and like, just like hanging around and moving around places. And <clears throat> the haunted house. I have to say the haunted house was done really well. You know? <laughs> the whole theme and everything. Even the person who was like the receptionist or whatever you know, was in the counter was fully in 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 like you know in in his persona he was just like you know like a zombie character just standing there laughing in a weird way looking at a blank direction <laughs> oh boy and okay so nishikata comes up with this great plan he's like oh i'm going to go in there 10 times i will be accustomed to stuff and yeah but ah uh, like as always like i i, I was pretty sure takagi was going to come here and she's like, all right, let's do it then. Like, <laughs> Nishikata doesn't, isn't able to go in 10 times. He's pretty scared, obviously. Like, you know, this was a pretty spooky type of a, like, you know, thing. Like, this haunted house. And, uh, like, like what, what actually scares about these type of things is not the fact that, obviously, like, we know, like, there are actors. They're not actual ghosts. The jump scare is the one that scares people. Like, you know, like, it, it just, it just pop up in front of you and it just gives you a heart attack or something. Like, what the hell? Like, <laughs> like that's what it is. Like, it's, I have to say, like, for video games as well, like, uh, like, you know, there's, like, a lot of video games, cheap, like, you know, horror games, which are just jump scares. Nothing else. There's no horror, nothing. It was just jump scares. And people get, like, you know, like, <laughs> like, you know, people get scared out of their, like, you know, chairs. Just because like something pops up in front of there with like a huge sound. And that's not being scared or that's not like a good horror game. A horror game is something, uh, you know, which kind of makes the atmosphere spooky and where without any jump scare, you feel scared about the whole situation. Like That's a proper good horror atmosphere. Like games also like, you know, are unable to do it. A lot of games are unable to do it nowadays, but there's also a few of them which really nail it. Uh, it's kind of like that, you know, here as well, like, I guess, obviously, like, we know that, yeah, this is, uh, <clears throat> you know, like, these, like, are, are all actors inside, in costumes, they're not actual ghosts, like, everyone knows this, but the thing that actually scares people is, like, the atmosphere, the, um, you know, like, the darkness, and the spooky vibe, and everything, all of that stuff, and uh, the jump scare also, like, you know, kind of startles people, that's basically like a haunted house, and... <laughs> And, but I guess these are like, like, you know, like young children, like, obviously, like, you know, they, they are going to get a little bit scared. Uh, Takagi is a bit too mature for her age. So she is like an exception, but normal children are obviously going to get scared. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, um, they get in and Takagi first gets in, like just rushes the whole thing, like speed runs the whole thing. <laughs> 43 seconds world record. She, she should have recorded this <laughs> and put it on YouTube. 
as a speedrunner. <laughs> oh my god. Probably would have broken a record. But... <laughs> Nishkata. He is like, alright, let's do this. He gets in. Oh, and before getting in, like, Takagi is like, alright, like, and just gives him, like, a random information. If someone taps you four times, you're going to get trapped there eternally. And that obviously is inside his head. He just rushes in. People, you know, all the ghost actors and everyone just pops up. And in comes Takagi from, the be from, her, from his behind and just taps him four times. Getting the, like, you know, hell out of him. And she's like, I haven't started yet. You just rushed in. <laughs> and then Takagi is like, I just wanted to go in with you. And obviously, like, you know, like, this is like a thing which you will enjoy when you do it with someone else. So... Yeah, like, I, I'm, I'm happy, like, they were able to do this together by the end of it. <laughs> Nishikata is like, when Tahagi said that I wanted to do it with you, Nishikata is like, what? 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 <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> okay. Alright, then there was this, like, you know, small little section of, like, the, the two-person eating thing. The like Kimura, and I don't know who the hell that was behind him, who was feeding him, but that was some top-notch... <laughs> You know, teamwork. <laughs> he won and, like, you know, the whole contest. And then there was the, that girl who, like, you know, like, the girl and, and that guy. Um, the guy who told him not her not to come. And they get in and <laughs> she realizes why she, he did not tell her, her to come. It's because it was like a maid cafe, like the cosplay thing that he was doing. <laughs> and obviously she was, he was embarrassed. Like, who wouldn't be in that situation? All right, then the play starts, you know, and we see the whole, like, you know, the play, like, uh, was happening, like, Nishikata is there, um, Kimura is there with the, like, you know, the big uh, mask and the costume and everything, and <clears throat> it was going on. Okay, so, so where is that part? Um, let's see. Where, like, you know, Nishikata, not Nishikata, but Takagi looks at Nishikata and says, where is that? Okay, yeah, here it is. Um, now the play goes on, and they're able to do it pretty well, I have to say. Uh, especially Kimura's little ad lib. I think that was an ad lib, the whole wordplay pun, you know, like that he does. Like everyone starts laughing. Where is that part? Um, let me go. Okay, this one. Just a sec. The, the, the things that I, I don't know what those are, those spiky fruits, those fall, you know? <laughs> He's like, Otto, 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 like, ow, 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 Julie Otto. <laughs> he just snakes it in inside that. And yeah, that was pretty funny. And I have to say, like, you know, as they, like, you know, gave him the freedom to do it, you know, ad living, that was pretty well executed. And everyone, like, you know, had a little chuckle over there <laughs> and they were doing it pretty well i have to say and then in comes uh, nishkata you know his line he, he does this pretty perfectly and he comes out and he says he thinks like oh if we were we would we were stuck with the frog prince i would be you know doing the play with her and she sees like you know like takagi kind of looking at him and he's like wait did he did she look at me or something <laughs> okay and then, like, it was, like, the climax. And as always, we know, like, you know, like, Romeo and Juliet's story, both of them dies. It's, like, a tragic tale. And that's how they were going to do it here, where both of them would die. And, um, <coughs> like, Kimura comes in, and, my God, like, <laughs> because he ate so much in that contest, you know, his stomach started, like, you know, rumbling. And he, he just handed it to uh, Nishikata. And I was pretty sure, like, something like this was going to happen. But I thought the whole play Nishikata was going to do. But it, it came a little bit late, but still it happened, you know? Like, he, he, he took over Kimura's place. Put on the little mask, and he was just reading the script, while Takagi, like, you know, as, like, you know, her... Uh, what do you call it? Mm, according to her lines, she was supposed to, like, you know, stab herself and die. And then, you know, like, um... <clears throat> Obviously, I'm, I'm guessing Romeo would come and would come and he would also like, you know, die after that on, on, on in front of the audience or something like that would have happened. 
thing that happened now here's one thing that i kind of misunderstood i thought like he was like not reading the script so intently i was thinking wait maybe he's going to change the story where they would make it by the end like you know like ad lib the whole thing and like see see to it that everyone lives happily ever after or something like that i think i thought like nishikata was going to do that you know on his own but turns out that was not how it was going he was basically reading the script to see like what he was supposed to do after this but the like you know the the thing that happened here the exceptional situation that happened here is like the 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 spiky fruit like you know on on that fell on the like you know thing um takagi slipped on it and that's why he had to go in you know jumped and like you know like caught her like he had to do that that's why and as soon as like you know he jumped and caught her like he was on stage and he and, and his the whole thing was out and he had to do something about that situation so that's why he started ad libbing like i thought he was going to ad lib from the beginning but he had to do it because of nishikata uh, takagi sleeping so he started ad libbing and he was like oh like you know let's live happily ever after together i'm not a ham anymore i'm an, i'm a, i'm a normal human <laughs> and you know like he is like i'm pretty sure the reason behind that is the power of love or something like that he says yeah <laughs> yeah miracle of love and takagi is like yeah i am you know i i knew it we are destined to be together from the spring day i knew it and okay now this part i i kind of got confused you know because first of all nishikata kind of seems surprised now i thought nishikata already realized what takagi was trying to do here you know like by spring day i was confused at this part because i thought why is nishikata getting confused because takagi says like spring day so wouldn't he realize that i i like you know i i got confused at the fact that nishikata wasn't able to realize what takagi was trying to do that's why i was confused you know i was like why is nishikata acting like this i was thinking some other reason or something like you know i thought like oh maybe like you know nishikata thought that you know like they met or at fall but like you know takagi is saying like it was spring so maybe you know like takagi knew nishikata before nishikata knew takagi i was thinking of all these possibilities but it was plain miscommunication and misunderstanding that was basically it so <laughs> but yeah uh, so then like obviously nishikata is confused nishikata is like what what is she saying aunt like uh, like isn't this supposed to go by fall because you know in the script it's written fall so why is she saying spring <laughs> it did not click within him that he was she was talking about them and if it actually clicked that she was talking about them she, he would have probably realized that that was basically a confession because she said that i knew it we were destined to be together from the day we met in spring if she realized that that spring was actually referring to them that's basically a confession you know and he did not understand that that's why like you know he is still in the dark he doesn't realize what happened <laughs> as always he's dense but yeah <laughs> anyways um so okay and everything's like just ended like <laughs> i had an amazing <laughs> like you know like like a smile in her face and just clinging on to him <laughs> oh boy this was perfectly like and this ended perfectly and then in the karaoke like you know Nish takagi nishikata asks her like why did you say spring wasn't this supposed to be the fall that's that's what written, was written in the script and nishikata's uh, takagi is like i was talking about us not them <laughs> nishikata's like what and as i said like if nishikata actually thinks about the situation you know a little bit more like intricately he would understand that this was basically a confession because she was talking about them and she said like we are destined to be together that means she was referring to we means nishikata and takagi not romeo and juliet if you think about it but i guess like you know she's he's basically a child <laughs> he's not like takagi he's you know he's he's not that what can i say like you know mature or intelligent so like, like you know he 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 was unable to piece the like you know like put the pieces together and understand what actually happened here so basically this was a confession but he didn't he did not understand that it was a confession <laughs> there was a roundabout confession you know but yeah anyways
Oh boy, that was a fantastic end. And then like they were like, you know, like kind of doing the karaoke, like just having fun singing. And yeah. And then we see like, you know, the girl, I think Sanai, that was her name. She put the picture, you know, with Nishikata Takagi and them with it on, on the desk. Yeah. That's how it ended. Perfect ending to the um, culture, no, cultural festival, school play. Yeah. And uh, yeah, that was fantastic. Oh boy, like, <laughs> this was a really great episode, like, such a good, like, I thought, like, the previous episode was, uh, you know, like, so, what can I say, like, they so, went so close to confessing and everything, but this, this went even closer, like, Takagi basically confessed here, unfortunately, Nishikata did not understand that, <laughs> the, the subtlety with that, what, how she did it, but yeah, so, <laughs> that was it, that was it, guys, this was my reaction to um teasing master takagi san season 3 episode number 6 so if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know and i'll check them out so yeah that was it thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys next week with another episode of teasing master takagi san season 3 so until then goodbye and have a nice day